Today, Kevin and I are gonna be trying some products from Pretzel House Bakery. We have some pretzels here, but we also have uh, some icing to dip the sweeter pretzel in. I have the, uh, this is Pretzel House Bakery Lightly Salted. And this is the cinnamon sugar one, which goes with the frosting. Yes, so the lightly salted, they come sealed, the bags are sealed. Mm -hmm. And what you do is you can either uh, heat these in the oven or you can heat them in the microwave. Um, it says, for best results, warm pretzel is instructed below. Uh, in the oven, you heat it uh, one minute at 350 degrees. I wonder if you put a toaster up. And it says it has to be removed from the package for this option. Um, yeah, don't, don't melt your plastic. <laughs> in the microwave, you open the package and you leave the pretzel inside, and that's what we did, uh, for 25 to 30 seconds. It says, Pretzel House pretzels are prepared from the finest ingredients and hand-twisted under the supervision of a German-trained third-generation master baker. Our unique baking process allows us to capture the fresh, authentic Bavarian flavor, so you'll enjoy the same great-tasting soft pretzel every time. I took it out of the bag because it, there's a wetness in there, and I'm afraid it'll add some moistness yeah, to it. I That's why I took it out. Um, they are in West Chester, Ohio. Oh, it's www.pretzelhousebakery.com. Uh, Did you one, say where we got through that? One pretzel is uh, 170 grams. It's 465 calories for the lightly salted. We bought these at our local bread outlet store. They were $1.49 each. They were up by the register. Mm -hmm. And they're just sitting on the counter. They're not refrigerated. No, they're out in the oven. And then the icing was 99 cents. Yeah. So you just want to try I've them. noticed that this bakery that we've been going to, mm -hmm. <clears throat> they have a lot of things from Ohio. And it's still pretty hot. I know what the texture reminds me of. The, like a dinner roll mm -hmm. or something. You too? The texture reminds me when you go in the bread out at the store and they have those square boxes of dinner mm -hmm. rolls. That's exactly what this tastes like. Very dense. Yes. Very dry. Yes. And there is, it said lightly salted. They meant it because I didn't get any I didn't salt. Have salt at all. Yeah. Um, it needs some salt. It doesn't taste like a traditional pretzel. No, it doesn't. Because a traditional pretzel has a, like a, the skin on it is like chewy. Mm -hmm. Like has, it has a toughness to it mm -hmm. that's really enjoyable. That's why you eat a pretzel. It's all about the texture. Yeah. Yeah. This is more like just bread. So mm -hmm. I don't think I'm going to buy one of those. Guys. Not no. knowing it's a, not for a pretzel. No, because truly it's like one of those dinner rolls and they have formed it into a pretzel. Yeah. So and there's it not, you don't get that chewy. You're not you know, getting that. Well, a, a pret pretzel's a crust is usually, um, and it's a crisp, like you can yeah. almost knock, knock it. It's yeah. a crisp and powder. and it gets the chewiness to it. Yeah. yeah. Um, so, yeah. this I, is, uh, I I is would... it the same calories? I don't know. Let me look. It's, like it's okay. I can see it. This is one pretzel, uh, 464 calories, and this is cinnamon sugar. And I'm going to try it first without any yeah, icing. The color is a little different from the cinnamon. Mm, it's darker. You got a little bit of that tough mm -hmm. skin, but not much. It's a little better. Mm hmm. I like that much, much better. The, the texture is still the same for me. It might be. It a, pretty much is. Yeah. Um, but the addition of that cinnamon really adds a lot of flavor that this one didn't have. Now, if you, they need to make these tubs, and they may, and our outlet store didn't have them. They should make these uh, in tubs of butter. Or mustard. Or mustard to dip these plain things in, because you need something to dip that in because it's so plain, that's the lightly salted. Um, the, the cinnamon, you could eat that by itself, but I am gonna try it with the icing, of course. As long as you don't get too much of the icing, it's good. If you get a really big scoop of it, it's not as good. Yeah, I don't like that. You just gotta get a little bit. Mm-hmm. And it's not bad. I like it better plain than with the icing. No. I like the flavor of the cinnamon one. It still doesn't have a pretzel texture. Mm -hmm. I'd much rather have the the 
The Angie frozen Ann's. ones. <laughs> yeah, but there's another one too. There's like a super pretzel. I can't remember. Mm, it's in yeah, a blue box. Yeah. Um, those are both better than these mm -hmm. as far as being a pretzel. Um, and they actually have salt. Like the ones that in the blue box, like I said, I can't remember what they're called. Um, they, um, they actually have a little packages of salt you put on them. So mm -hmm. you get them wet and you sprinkle the salt on them and then you put them in the oven. Right. Well, this is supposed to be an on-the-go thing. You know, this was up at the register, and those are frozen. Yeah, those are frozen. So fun. there's a difference. I mean, yeah. they're, these are, try, are, are gearing towards the on-the-go crowd, although you can't eat them on the go because you're supposed to heat them up. I mean, there's heating. In, I mean, I'm sure you could eat it straight out of the bag. Yeah, we not want to. But it, yeah, I just, I would pass on these as well, though, because yeah. they are truly the taste and texture of a dinner roll yeah. just shaped like a pretzel. Yeah, more like bread than pretzel. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the review and thanks for watching.